Hello, welcome to the latest Gadget Tube. In this episode, we're covering the new 3DS, Intel's new processors, and the death of MSN Messenger. Nintendo have announced two new 3DS models, the normal sized and an XL model, to be released in October in Japan. The new models will come with a new analog stick, or more of a little nub stick, and two new shoulder buttons, bringing the total shoulder buttons to four. Also included will be NFC, a gyroscope and a microSD card slot. Apparently there's a better processor in it as well, only presumed from the fact that the listing describes it as having better 3D capabilities. With a 7 hour battery life it should be able to keep most people going throughout the day. The prices in Japan are $150 for the standard model and $180 for the XL model. Prices and release dates for the UK and the rest of the world aren't yet known. Intel have released the fastest desktop PC processors to date with the new 8-core 16-thread $1000 Haswell E processors. The new processors support the new DDR4 memory and run at 3GHz with a turbo boost up to 3.5. For gamers however, you'll be better checking out the new Devil's Canyon processors from Intel which run at a standard clock of 4GHz with a turbo boost up to 4.4. The main difference here is the new Haswell E's run with multiple cores that only certain programs can take advantage of. If you're a gamer, you're much better going for less cores and a higher clock speed like the new Devil's Canyon processors. They're considerably cheaper at $340 rather than $1000 for the new Haswell E's. Finally, get your sad emoticons ready for this story as MSN is finally shutting down. It hasn't been available for most of the world for quite a while now but it's finally shutting down in China on the 31st of October. If you're like me, you remember going to school all day with your friends only to come home and end up chatting to them all night on MSN anyway, sending them emoticons, nudges, and having really poor webcam quality calls that have about a five second delay. Anyway, that's all coming to an end and all users have been told to migrate to Skype, although it doesn't quite have the same tacky charm that MSN does. And finally, just before I go, Apple have announced that there is a new event coming on the 9th of September, presumably for launching their new iPhone 6. There's also been plenty of rumours to suggest that there's going to be a new iWatch smartwatch from Apple, but we'll find out more after the event has happened. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these videos, they're out every Monday alongside different reviews at different times in the week. And of course, give this video a thumbs up, like, or a comment. Thanks for watching, don't forget to check out my previous videos. To this review of the Chinese cheap alternative to the Pressy, which is an Android button. Now the Pressy is available for around $30, but this click or my key or other things as it's known as is available.